what to expect from the fighter with the exciting style and unyielding confidence. Yet since that memorable title-winning night, he has successfully defended the belt multiple times, and he shows no signs of slowing down as his next title defense approaches. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Flyweight Division title. So here he is, the number one flyweight contender, looking to change that title here in 25 minutes or fewer and lead as the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world. What a run to contention it has been for this young man. He has put together a long winning streak. He's got the finishes to make the fans happy. He's done everything to position himself for this type of championship opportunity. Now, under the lights, we'll see what he can do with it. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. Well, this man remains the hunted at 125 pounds, one of the most dominant flyweights in UFC history, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion, making another title defense tonight. And candidly, Joe, he's made it look easy at times on this title run. Tonight, though, most people believe he is staring at his toughest championship defense to date. We'll see if we get and still or and new after this flyweight championship tonight. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, with the same height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing Bruce, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of four wins, four losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of Villa Velha Espirito Santo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, the king. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Lakewood, Colorado, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Assassin. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. You ready to fight? Ready. 
All right, here we go. The UFC flyweight title is on the line. This should be good. Well, what a championship outing it was for him the last time around. A win by knockout. And that really set this division on fire. Wow! striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. And here we see the spectacular bomb that he landed to retain his world title. The speed and power is something to behold. And as it lands, immediately his opponent goes limp. And here we see it from another angle. And there is the UFC flyweight champion. What a finish he turned in for the masses here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at 56 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and stay. So he came in as the undisputed UFC flyweight champion, and that is exactly the way he will go out after the knockout victory here tonight. You see the party is on in the corner, and rightfully so, after a Herculean effort here tonight. And speaking of Herculean efforts, it is gonna take a monumental showing for one of these fellow 125-pound contenders to dethrone this dominant champion, and still the UFC flyweight champion of the world.
All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC flyweight division title. So here he is, the number one flyweight contender, looking to change that title here in 25 minutes or fewer and lead as the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world. What a run of contention it has been for this young man. He has put together a long winning streak. He's got the finishes to make the fans happy. He's done everything to position himself for this type of championship opportunity. Now, under the lights, we'll see what he can do with it. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. Well, this man remains the hunted at 125 pounds, one of the most dominant flyweights in UFC history, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion, making another title defense tonight. And candidly, Joe, he's made it look easy at times on this title run. Tonight, though, most people believe he is staring at his toughest championship defense to date. We'll see if we get and still or and new after this flyweight championship tonight. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Our tail of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds for the UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting! This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding professional record of 40 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, presenting the challenger, Henry the Messenger Zahudo! And now introducing the champion. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Lakewood, Colorado, USA, presenting the ring, defending undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Assassin. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is going to go down right now. Here we go. All right, so here we go with round one. UFC flyweight title on the line here tonight, and there is the champion fighting out of the red corner, looking to successfully defend his title yet again. He has been one of the more dominant 25ers in the history of... Wow! This could be it!
Nice job working hard, posting and getting back. Oh, he is hurt here. the victory. Well, that was a no-doubter, Joe, and he's made a career of knocking guys out with kicks, but that one right there might have just been the best yet. Caught the opponent flush, full force, outstanding extension with the leg, and really, once he connected with the target, you knew the end of the fight was coming, and immediately his opponent goes to the canvas. A major, major result here in this division tonight. Great angle here. Boom! And then he's out. And there is our UFC flyweight champion and getting it done by knockout here tonight. Very impressive. We set it inside the octagon once more. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 58 seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by knockout and stick. UFC flyweight champion of the world, and he did it with style points here tonight as he defends the belt by way of the KO. I'm not sure I've ever seen his coaches this happy, and rightfully so, after their athlete turned in a performance like this. And there's got to be no better feeling in all of professional sports when you are the hunted, you are the champion, and you can turn in an effort like this. Congratulations to the still UFC flyweight champion of the world.
some paths must eventually cross. And as two of the greatest fighters in the UFC kept dominating their opposition, it was inevitable that this moment would come. When the octagon door closes for tonight's super fight, the talk will be over. And the entire sports world will come to a halt. This is no ordinary fight. It's a battle between two champions, willing to put their own divisional crowns on the line to prove themselves worthy to be on top. And when the dust settles, there can only be one winner, a king with two crowns. Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Bantamweight Division title. All right, so here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion. But tonight, an opportunity of a lifetime to etch his name in the history books as one of only a handful of fighters to be a simultaneous two-division UFC champion. Conor McGregor was the first to do it. This fighter can join him in short order if he can get the win against another champion here tonight. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. Our tail. Here we go, first one, you ready? You ready? Let's All right, here we go, the UFC fan. Oh, oh, he's hurt! He's hurt! Oh! Oh, oh, he's hurt! Try some oh. Oh. The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble right now. Deep trouble. He's trying to hang on. He landed that inside leg kick. How about that shin? Well, that kick landed the body. Oh! He's got to be careful here. 